Hey there, today I am bringing you a what I eat in a day, but this is actually going to be for five days, so this will be what I ate for the work week. I was trying a different strategy to lose weight and trying to work with the things that I have on hand because I am doing the uh, pantry slash freezer challenge that started on August 1st. So I am working through what I have in uh, my freezer, fridge, and pantry, trying to do my best not to spend money because I'd really like to save money. I'm trying to buy a house. So um, that is kind of what I had announced a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I don't remember. Um, I will show you what I ate during um, this last week and talk about what I lost in terms of weight at the end. So I'll go ahead and put in the clips now. Okay, day one. One thirty-four point six. So this is my mocha drink. It doesn't look like much, but it is eight ounces of almond milk, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one scoop, uh, not one scoop, half a scoop of this exogenous ketones or BHB salts. Um, I haven't done a ketone test on these, but I will. And then I put two teaspoons of this just because I have it. Um, it definitely does give it a little bit of a different flavor. It has Splenda, so I don't like to just have that. I put one tablespoon of toasted marshmallow, one tablespoon of English toffee, and a tablespoon of Swerf. And that is how I make my mocha drink. It's pretty good. And the exogenous ketones gives me a little bit of a boost. I'm doing pretty good today. I'm going to try and see if I can push most of my calories to the end of the day. That way I don't end up uh, snacking like I did yesterday. But I have a half a cup of cheese, two ounces of shredded pork. I put some uh, hot sauce in the shredded pork. I'm going to measure out 30 grams of sour cream um, to put on top. So 30 grams is also two tablespoons. That's close enough, I think. It's one o'clock. I'm gonna have a piece of the Franz toast with a tablespoon of peanut butter and a tablespoon of this uh, pure hazelnut spread. Uh, I'm gonna be needing a little bit more fat in my day, so that's why I'm, I'm doing this instead of the jelly. So that's what I'm gonna have right now. So I have another two ounces of shredded cheese. I have one and a half ounces of the uh, pulled pork. And I put two tablespoons of G. Hughes barbecue sauce on it to make it like a barbecue um, tostada. I'm also going to add, uh, these are four uh, hamburger pickles, kind of. I'm going to see if that tastes better than the other one. I just had these Quest chips. It's 6-11. I have one tablespoon of my Crazy Richard's peanut butter. This one that I added swerve to. And then I have half a tablespoon of this pure. And I'm going to have that for dessert. It is 10 o'clock and I'm feeling munchy. I'm not actually hungry, but I just feel like eating something. So I have a little bit of cucumber uh, chopped up and I put a little bit of salt on top. And these actually taste really good like this. So I'm going to snack on this just so I feel like I'm eating something. I am getting my lunch ready. I have two ounces of the pork butt that I made a while ago, and I have about uh, two tablespoons of G. Hughes barbecue sauce. I am going to mix that up, and I'm going to put it on these little um, cheese. Uh, it's like a cheese bread. I'm going to use it like slices of bread, and I'm going to make like a pulled pork sandwich. I'm really excited for it. I'll show you what those uh, cheese slices look like but it's just a quarter of a cup of shredded cheese for each um, slice of, of bread basically I'm using it as so I'm gonna mix this up I'm also gonna add some sriracha because I feel like the Jihu's barbecue sauce is a little sweet um, so I'm gonna add that make it a little spicy and then I'm also gonna add a serving no one tablespoon of ranch so and some pickles so I'll show you what it's gonna look like okay so this is what my cheese bread is looking like 
Um, it's nice and crunchy. I actually put it in the refrigerator so it's a little bit cold. But I am going to, I think I'm going to use that one because it's a little bit like rounded. Use that as the bottom. I'm going to put the pulled pork with the sriracha and the barbecue sauce on there. And then I'm going to put um, pickles on top and some ranch on top. Okay, you guys, so I have the pulled pork. I added some red onion too. I have a few pickles and I have one tablespoon of ranch dressing on top. I'm gonna be honest, this looks amazing. So I'm gonna put the top on there and that's what I'm going to eat. Um, I made these um, cheese buns out of just a quarter cup of shredded cheese and I cooked it on the stove like I do uh, my cheese taco shells. That's it, very simple, but I'm gonna eat this. So I took a couple bites of this and it's actually really good. It's so sturdy. The only thing I would say is probably cook it fresh because I put this in the refrigerator because I cooked it this morning and it's just cold. But if you cook it fresh but still let it cool a little bit, it'll be like warm and it'll still harden. But this would be so good for a burger. I'm going to try that. Um, I don't know if I could fit in my macros today, but maybe I'll try and do that tomorrow. But it's so sturdy. If you're wanting to cut down on low carb bread, Definitely try just like a quarter cup of cheese in a pan and um, it makes a really sturdy bun. I'm having this strawberry clear American soda. It's so good. Since I want to eat the pork that I have, I have one and a half ounces here. I'm going to try and make it taste like a cheeseburger and I'm going to put a teaspoon of the Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to use just a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic salt. That's normally how I would uh, season my ground beef so i'm gonna put all that in here i'm gonna top it with one tablespoon of sugar-free ketchup and one tablespoon of mayonnaise i'll show you what that looks like okay so i have my seasoned uh shredded pork i put a tablespoon like i said of the g hughes ketchup and mayo and then i also topped it with four pickles just chopped up I really want to add onion, but I'm a little high on my carbs today, so I'm going to stick with this. Oh, and then I have my little top. I did the same thing. It's just a quarter cup of cheese. There's my little shredded pork burger. I have a piece of the Franz bread with a tablespoon of peanut butter and half a tablespoon of pure uh, hazelnut. I want to show you guys... Um, didn't show you yesterday. This is what happened yesterday. Not bad. Over the calories that I wanted for the day, but it all worked out. Whoops. And then today, this is what happened today. Um, it's a little bit high because I opened a bag of protein chips but I haven't finished them. I have about half the bag left. I honestly, I don't feel like I will finish them because um, it's already seven and after this, I'm probably not gonna want anything else. So um, this is a little high, but um, it's a little off. So I'm fine with that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and that'll probably be it for the day. If I finish that uh, bag of protein chips, I'll let you know. So I did end up having one of these bags of protein chips. So that put me a little bit over for my carbs for the day. Here's my mocha drink. I actually left out the heavy whipping cream today. Just didn't feel like having the extra calories this morning. Just wanted a little something. Um, so that's the way I'm gonna start my day. Okay, I have uh, one piece of the France bread. I have a tablespoon of peanut butter and a half a tablespoon of the pure hazelnut spread and the peanut butter I'm using is Crazy Richard's which uh, I added some swerve to so I'm gonna add that to my toast and eat that now. It is 10 o'clock. I have so many things going right now but I have uh, an ounce and a half of pork. I put some um, onion powder and garlic powder, garlic salt. I have my two little uh, cheese buns ready. I'm going to add one teaspoon of this Worcestershire and then I'm going to add a slice of American cheese. This one, this one actually, uh, it's lower carb. Uh, the regular American cheese slices are like one or two net carbs. So I'm going to make, I'm going to put this one on top. 
Hopefully it's going to be like a little burger. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so you can't tell, but I did have a slice of American cheese on that. Um, I covered it with mayonnaise and ketchup. Uh, the G Hughes ketchup, I put a tablespoon of each. I have three pickles and just a little bit of red onion. Really not a lot at all. But I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, top cheese bun on top and eat this. This looks so amazing. It is 5.30. I'm having one piece of the France bread with um, a tablespoon of Crazy Richards and a little bit of Good Goods strawberry jam. Okay, so it is 7.30 and I am going to show you. This was yesterday. 1464 calories went a little bit over on my carbs and this is today I decided to not have my uh, third piece of toast um, I just don't really feel like having anything else and it's 730 so um, this is what I had today I skipped the heavy uh, whipping cream this morning these are my burgers Yeah, Fiesta blend and then the deli slice. Two types of cheese. I think this day worked out pretty darn well. 73% fat. I think I think I might lose weight tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, this is a little breakfast I'm having. I'm having a mocha drink um, without heavy whipping cream. And I'm having one slice of the Franz bread, Franz bread, whatever it is, with a tablespoon of peanut butter and a little bit of Good Goods jam. So I wanted to share with you guys something. So I was feeling really munchy this morning and I um, opened a bag of Quest chips. I still have it on my desk. I need to finish it. But um, because I use uh, this carb manager app, what I did is I filled in all the same things as yesterday into today. And then I had the, uh, I added the Quest chips and because I already had started eating the, the Quest chips, I went through and I just adjusted my food for the other meals of the day. And then I, I, I just adjusted it until I got back down to 20 carbs and, um, I, I was hitting the fat that I wanted to and the calories are good. But I think a lot of the times I would normally add things as I went. So if I added that bag of chips and then I added this with the red onion, then I would go to dinner and now I have to cut out maybe the mayo and I don't know, the slice of American cheese as well. Then my meal is definitely not going to be more enjoyable. But since I already had put in all of the food for the day, I could just tweak it a little bit because I knew how much I needed to tweak it rather waiting till the end of the day and then having to cut out a bunch of stuff. So I cut out onions for this, this little, uh, burger, but, um, I still get to have the American cheese on both of my, uh, meals. So I'd much rather do that than have one meal be just like really undelicious, if that's a word. So, um, I usually don't track like that. I usually just kind of track as I go, but this is definitely the benefit of tracking ahead of time because if something does come up, you can add that thing that you weren't planning on having and then just adjust the rest of your food for the rest of the day because it hasn't already happened. So just a little tidbit I thought I'd add, but I'm going to go ahead and have this with um, no onions on it. It'll be a little less delicious, but still awesome. I'm having a piece of this um, Franz bread france bread whatever um i have a tablespoon of peanut butter and half a tablespoon of pr i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's four o'clock right now i don't feel like having dinner um i might skip dinner and maybe just like have another piece or two of this bread because um i'm just not feeling like having all that fat i want kind of something lighter and i don't know i don't really want to have a whole meal I'm not feeling all that hungry so just wanted something sweet so i'm gonna have this I have finished one entire bag of these Quest tortilla chips. I really love this flavor. It's giving me the spice that I want. I haven't tested my ketones for this particular flavor, but I've tested my ketones for Quest before, and I imagine it shouldn't be that different, but um, 140 calories, four net carbs. So kind of high on carbs, but that's the ingredients, kind of. 
I'll have to give this a try out for my ketones just to make sure. It's six o'clock and I have another piece of the Franz bread with a tablespoon of peanut butter and half a tablespoon of this grenade carb killer. The calories and macros are about the same. It's a little less in carbs, but um, it has mouth tall, so probably not even. But I only used half a tablespoon, so um, I have a little bit of this left and I'm just wanting to use it. I'm hoping that using it in small doses um, will not give me a migraine. I already kind of have a migraine, so I'm kind of setting myself up for failure. But also, I wanted to mention, I got a new toaster. Look at that. So, bye-bye, Mr. 11-year-old toaster. I don't know if that's a good brand, but it, so far, it's toasting up great. Okay, guys, so um, it's almost 9 o'clock, and I still have one piece of toast to have with a tablespoon of butter not butter, peanut butter, and some hazelnut spread, but I'm really not feeling like having anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I feel like I don't have enough fat today, but let me show you what my macros ended up being. Okay, so this is what my macros would have looked like if I had had that other piece of bread, but since I'm not going to have it, I will go ahead and remove one. That'll work. Wait, no, I probably shouldn't remove that one. Okay, I will just remove uh, this one. Okay, so I had two pieces of the... Yeah, this is I had three pieces. I had one in the morning, and then I had uh, two a bit later. I had some uh, gummy pigs. I don't think I showed you guys that. Um, and then I had a bag of Quest chips. So now... My macros are looking like this. Still 70% fat, which I think is really good. 84 grams of fat, 1,265 calories, 17 net carbs. Not bad. I might be okay. We'll see what happens tomorrow morning when I weigh in. Let's see what I did. One thirty-three point eight. Okay, so um, the meals I was having were actually really tasty. I was surprised, and switching from beef to pork, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, but it actually worked out pretty well. So let me go over my beginning weight and ending weight. When I started the work week, I weighed in at one thirty-four point six, and at the end of the work week, I think on Saturday morning, I had weighed in at uh, one thirty-three point eight. So that is a 0.8 weight loss for the week. Definitely not bad. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what's best for me, but 0.8 is not bad. Um, of course, I would like it to be more, but wouldn't everybody. So um, I also want to share with you guys, um, another YouTuber had sent me some little knickknacks um, via mail and I wanted to open it with you guys because um, I'm really excited. I love you guys sharing with me and um, I'm so excited to see what uh, she sent me. Her YouTube name will be in the description box but her um, her name is Aretha and she had told me that she wanted to send me some stuff so uh, I'm super excited to see what she sent me. Oh boy. So she sent me these schoolyard snacks. I, I test. I did a product review where I tested these. Um, I'm. I really like the flavor of them. So I'm excited to have something spicy. I gotta have something spicy. So I'm really excited to have that. Cause um, after I, those are really expensive. So after I got my box um, and tested my ketones, I had actually returned them because for me it was too pricey. I'm a cheapskate. She also sent me uh, their. Cereal. I haven't tried their cereal, so I'm so excited to do this in a product review. It's going to be awesome, I hope. But this one's peanut butter. She also sent me a chocolate. Oh man, these are full. I did not try these. The Cheeto Puffs. Keto Puffs. They're like the cheesy, um, cheesy Cheeto flavor. But that is so awesome. Bag is stained. <gasps> ah, that's funny. I think I'll go ahead and just give these a try since 
since I have them in front of me. Those taste a lot like Cheetos. Like the Cheeto Puffs. Definitely cheesy. That's awesome. That tastes so much like um, Cheeto Puffs. I never was big into Cheeto Puffs. I like the Flaming Hot Cheetos. But these are really good. A nice... Uh, a nice salty snack. So thank you so much, Aretha, for sending me this stuff. I really appreciate you thinking of me. It's so thoughtful of you. I can't wait to test these in a product review video. I'm so excited. Thank you so much again. I really, really appreciate it. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. And if you do give it a thumbs down, if you could let me know why you didn't like the video, I just want to hear the feedback. That's it. I keep getting like at least one dislike on every video and I keep wondering like it, it must be the same person right but anyways um if you want to drop me a comment I love talking to you guys chit chatting hearing how things are going for you let me know how um the freezer slash pantry challenge is going for you if you're doing it because I'd, I'd love to hear how it's going I'm actually really enjoying it I feel like nothing feels better than not spending money but that's probably just the accountant in me so I understand if you guys don't feel the same way, but I'd love to know how it's going for you guys. So I will talk to you very shortly in the comment section, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.